All righty, gang, here we go. It is, this one is going to be brutal. You might want to tell your friends or family or somebody to log on to this one, or you might share this after we're done here. This one, oh my God, we, I am super upset. All right, just so you know. But first, let's talk about our sponsor, our good sponsor, Opsin. Opsin USA, if you absolutely have to get a bite, you absolutely have to have some Opsin fluorocarbon. This is the bitchinest fluorocarbon ever made. It's clear. That's number one. If you've watched any of my videos, you've listened to anything that I ever talk about, it's all about tricking the fish into biting your hook. Why would you use colored fluorocarbon? My God, it's all about getting a bite, gang. And Opsin's clear. And if you, if the fish can see the floral car, or if you can see the floral, the fish can see it. I'm just trying to tell you, clear floral carbon's the way to go. Opsin makes some of the best floral carbon on the planet. Go to Opsin USA, order yourself some spools of this stuff. He's got every size you could imagine that you're going to need to go fishing. The really cool thing is they're magnetic. They stick together. You can make them your little tackle box, put some hooks on the top of it. This is the, this is the. The all-inclusive fluorocarbon container. I mean, who? nobody ever came up with this before? Magnetic spools that stick together? Are you kidding me? We used to have to buy a pack to do this. Check out Opsin. Go to Opsin USA. Order yourself some Opsin fluorocarbon. Put in the code YSWG. You're going to save on that. But I'm pissed, so just hang in there, gang. Don't dump out because we're having a commercial here. Stay with me. You're not going to believe what's going kind of on right now in Southern California. It's going to piss all of you off, so stay tuned and listen. But just a second, I got to cover a couple more things, but don't leave. Gang, I'm pissed, and you should be too, and you will be when I'm done telling you what the hell they got planned now. All right. Go to Opsin USA, order your Opsin, put in the code YSWG. You're going to save 20%. You're going to get this stuff shipped straight to your house. Opsin USA, go order some Opsin. We got a couple days left, and we're going to 999. On August 1st, we go to 999 for your saltwater guide. If you're not already a member, then get in there now or don't. I would rather you wait. I'd rather you wait so I can double your fee. But if you're already a member, your fee's not going up. Don't panic. Nothing's going up for those of you that are loyal members. I'm not going to do that to you. But anyone new to the company, anyone new to your saltwater guide, anybody tired of not catching anything, it's now going to be $9.99 instead of $4.99. $4.99. I'm going to $9.99. That's almost as much as a gallon and a half of gas. I know that's a lot to ask for. $9.99 is what we're going to, okay? Next, the contest. Leave some stars on my all of my reels, any of my reels, all the reels you can leave stars on. Facebook is doubling the, the, the money now. Every time you leave a star, Facebook's going to give me a star. So Mark Zuckerberg's going to give me a dollar for every dollar you give me. So how cool is that? So help me out. Leave some stars on any of my reels. The live show, he's not doing it for, but any of the reels, those are those little short videos you see on Facebook. Any of my reels, Zuckerberg's matching all of you. So every time you leave a buck, he's going to leave a buck. All right. Thank you very much for that. Our contest for the stars, for people that are leaving stars across anything. You're going to get a chance. There's Justin right there. You're going to get a chance to go fishing with Justin and Amanda on their beautiful boat in Long Beach Harbor on Bowline Sport Fishing. He runs a great operation. He runs it Captain Dave style. He does. He takes people out and he actually catches them fish and he treats them right. And everyone leaves with a smile on their face, regardless of what they caught. They have a good time when they go and you're going to win a three quarter day trip. We're going to give that away. We're going to pull the names out of the hat set Sunday night. And somebody's going to win that three-quarter day trip with Justin and his family. That was nice of Justin to offer that up. And he's given that away to one lucky winner. Whoever's name gets drawn out of the hat, you got a chance to win. All right? And then over at YouTube, we got sub subscribe to my YouTube channel. You got a chance to win a case of Baja. Don't leave, gang. I am pissed, and you're going to be too when I get done telling you what the hell's going on now. Stay with me. But over at YouTube, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel on YouTube, gang. We're adding 2,000 new members a month right now. Our 
channel is growing faster than anything on the planet. And it's all because of you. But go over there and subscribe. YouTube's free. It won't hurt you. You go over there and subscribe. I got, what did, what did my guy, we have 27,000 videos on our YouTube channel. There's always going to be something there for you to watch. So go check that out. And you might win a case of Baja Jerky from Baja Jerky. But here we go. Oh, my God. Okay. You're going to be pissed. I'm super pissed. All right. God rest my father's soul. But this, my dad left, left us in January. All right. And they got, they got active. They got very active. The California Fish and Wildlife. My dad stood in that gap. If you don't know who my father is, Google Donald Hansen. He sat in the gap for us. He protected us. He's the reason why you guys get to catch two bluefin. Yeah, you can directly put it right back on my father. He's the reason why we got to catch the rockfish. Don't leave. I'm telling you, you don't want to leave because you're going to be pissed as I am. You want to know what the hell's going on here. My dad stood in the gap for us on the rockfish thing, and he stood tall, and he worked very, very hard to make sure that we had rockfish to catch in Southern California. Gang, I told you for... Months in the very very beginning of the, the uh, rockfish season, when they lifted the rockfish closures, how we had to help and how we had to get those descending devices and how we had to let those fish back down to the bottom. And we tried to be proactive and get out in front of this. But in the back of my mind, I always knew that they didn't care. I always knew that it didn't matter. I'm sorry. Everybody... This is why I don't get to go to the fish and wildlife meetings. This, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest. You got to pay attention. Here's what they got going on. Okay. Listen to this. This just came down the pipe this morning. <sighs> I'm pissed. California sport ground fish reg regulations divide the state into two, into five ground fish management areas in which the fishing season, rockfish conservation area, depth constraints and bag limits may differ. In 2022, nearshore ground fish season lengths range from eight to 10 months. Now, this is important, gang, because this is the lifeblood of our industry. If you go out on your boat fishing or if you buy a ticket to go on a sport boat and my family owns nine of them in Dana Point. So we're kind of we're kind of we're kind of all in on this thing, like a lot of us are. Okay, and this matters a lot to all of us, not just my family, but all of us. So guess what? That 10 months is what has fed our families for the last, since they changed the regs and started putting these implements on. We had 10 months to fish for rockfish. Guess what? Even though we got proactive and tried to do something positive for the industry, here's how they're, here's how they're gonna reward us, all right? I don't even know why I'm smiling. I'm so goddamn pissed. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cuss, but I'm so pissed. Watch this and listen very carefully to the verbiage here because this matters. Listen to this. Okay. Near shore ground fish season lengths range from eight to 10 months. But in 2023, they are expected to shrink to not, not more. Now listen, not more than five and a half months. That means it's going to be way flipping less, gang. In all areas. So those of you in Northern California going, oh, well, but you guys, uh, I don't care. It's Southern California. No, it's everywhere, baby. Wake up. God, they got us again. This one will do it. The price of fuel is pretty much hammered at the industry. Now, they're going to take away the season of rockfish. Now, remember, it only, it didn't even, it closed January and February, and it opened March 1st. Okay. And then, that was, that's pretty much all we have to fish for because they've taken away our calico bass, our sand bass. Sea lions have pretty much, taking care of all the migratory fish that swim into our area, the barracuda, the bonita. They don't like to come into Southern California only because of one reason. That I know everyone says, oh, the water. No, it's the California sea lions that they overregulated 
And now there's no die off of the sea line. And that's a whole nother seminar we can talk about. But here they go. Here they go. We got out in front of this thing. We tried to do proactive and tried to take care of our resource like we always have, even though we all know with a brain that the science was already done when my father was lobbying so hard for us that the science was done. And we know the rockfish have made a phenomenal comeback. And he know he had science behind his side and they opened up. That's when they started opening up the depths, but they still haven't opened up the banks, which blows my mind, the 14 and the Osborne and the 43, these areas where you can't even put a bait anywhere near the bottom because a million rockfish climb on it. But now how they're going to reward us is they're going to take away more of the season, which is going to affect us like you can't even comprehend, gang. Because the only way we make it in the wintertime is to get to fish for rockfish. Well, now they're going to shrink the season in half. They said we had eight to 10 months in the past. Now it will not be longer than five. It's right here. It will not. It's on their website, Fish and Wildlife. This just came out. Plus, a lot of people are posting it all over their Facebook pages. But gang, this is huge. I, I had another seminar set up for you until this came down today. And then I'm like, oh, sh I got to let everyone know this is really, really bad. This is horrible. This is horrible. The price of fuel we can't get out in front of, even though we set up when we had all these charters come through last year when the fishing was good. And then now the fishing mediocre, getting better all the time. But uh, the price of fuel doubled when we booked you guys. Last year, the price of fuel was $275, $250 a gallon. Now it's $6. That has a massive effect on our, our industry. Now you're going to take away our rockfish season and you're going to make it five and a half months. Well, that's, that won't be more than that is what it says. It doesn't say it's five and a half months. It says it will not be more than that. I, I've been in this industry for 48 years. I know I can read between the lines of these guys. I can read between the lines of these people. They do not want you to go outside. I am like enemy number one because I have a tan. I, I, I go out in the sun and I get vitamin D. So I'm a horrible human. I am just the worst human on the planet Earth. That's why I'm not allowed to go to these meetings. They don't want anybody in there that's actually going to stand up and disagree with what they have to say and actually have a real opinion. And I know Wayne Hart works his ass off, but he, he's... He can't really tell them what's going on because they'll crush them. The, the Enviros don't want us fishing anymore. I know that for a fact. I love Wayne and he works his ass off and everybody at CCA works their ass off. But man, their hands are tied. This thing is so unbelievable what they're about to do to this industry. This is going to crush us. It's going to absolutely crush us. Taking the calico bass and the sand bass from 12 to 14 inches now we have to report that we released 200 bass. All that stuff's crazy. It doesn't make any sense. But the thing about this rockfish thing that you don't understand is, uh, gang, these things, you cannot adversely affect the population of these rockfish with the fishing pole. And now you're going to get to have one. Again, they're going to let you have one copper and they're going to let you have one quill back. But they're... They're going to cut the season in half at least. They're telling us at least in half. That means it's going to be more. The season's going to get cut. This is un this is devastating. Absolutely devastating. I don't know what we do. I don't think we can do anything. I just think it's set in stone. It's already written down here on their website. I don't know what you can do, gang, but I'm pissed. I can't believe they did this to us. Yeah, I can. Because I see what's going on in the great state of California every single day. I don't think they want you to go outside. I don't think they want you to fish. This is just their way of squeezing you, squeezing you, squeezing you down to where you're not going to be able to go out and fish anymore. So that I'm just letting you know, be ready. January 1st, there's going to be a whole new bunch of rockfish regulations coming down. And it's not going to be pretty. And it's not going to help us. And it's not going to save the fishery. It's not. Because we're not... People with the fishing pole were not the problem. We never have been and we never will be. But we're the lowest hanging fruit on the tree. And also, we can't agree on anything. There's not, 
there, we can put five fishermen in a room together and we won't agree on anything. There's guys still saying, oh, it's the best thing that ever happened was taking that calico bass from 12 to 14 inch. Well, not really because the science had been done. And we already knew that fish spawned four and a half times by the time it was 12 inches long. And it had made a phenomenal amount of babies. The science was there, but they didn't follow the science. Plus that calico bass was never a commercial fish. And neither was, neither was the spotted bay bass. Now the sand bass gets, gets commercially fished down in Mexico and it gets devastated down there, but not up here in Southern California. And now this rockfish thing, we're not the problem gang. We never will be. It's not the guy with the fishing pole, but we are the lowest hanging fruit and we can't agree on anything. So we'll all sit there on our bucket and suck our thumb and just take the whooping that we're going to get. Cause we're getting a whooping on this one. We are getting a down home whooping. And the problem with captain Dave is he only tells the truth might not be the truth you want to hear, but it's still the truth. I'm sorry. We're going to get whooped on this one. This is not going to help the industry at all. It's a down home ass whooping. That's what it is. It's a down home ass whooping. Taking the season. They already took almost all our rockfish away. We can't hardly even catch any. But they go, oh, we gave you more depth. Well, what the hell are we going to do? Drop our lines down 800 feet to catch one goddamn fish that doesn't even live in that water anyway? Because the fish that do live in that... Here's the funny thing I read this guy put on him. Oh, well, you know, they're giving us more depth. That doesn't, so that you can catch a cow cod that you're not allowed to keep. What the hell are you talking about, folks? You don't, you got to educate yourself. It's not, this isn't good. This is not good. There's not one part of it that's good. It's not good. There's no problem with these rockfish. They're, you can't adversely affect them with the fishing pole. I don't even care how good of a fisherman you are, Vincent. You cannot affect them with the fishing pole. You just can't. You're not that good. Neither can you, pole vault. You're not that good. You cannot adversely affect the population of the fish in the ocean with the fishing pole. You're not that good. We're not the people. We're not the thing that they should be going after, but we're the easy target because we can't agree on nothing. We can't agree on a thing, so they just hammer us once again. They're going to get our, <laughs> they're cutting the rockfish season in half. Uh, it'll probably be worse. They just say it at least in half. So that tells me it's going to be way more. <sighs> Told you I was pissed. I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. But I think the bottom line is they do not want you to fish in California. And remember 30-30, 30-30 still setting there. 3030 is still sitting there waiting. It's just going to rear its ugly head here next year. They put it on hiatus for a little bit. Why they why they try to figure out all this other crap? But that 3030 thing's going to pop up here any any day now. They're going to start talking about it again. And what is that? That's they're going to close 30 30% more of the ocean, not counting all the other closures. They those don't count into the 30%. It's going to be new 30% closure. And then they're going to get you guys that like to fish trout and largemouth bass. They're coming for your water too, gang. You do, you got to read that 30-30 thing. But this one's real. This one just happened. It's in print. It's on the Fish and Wildlife's website. Big changes to the sport fishing ground fish is what it says. Big changes. And these are huge. They're real, they're big, and they suck. God. All right, gang. I'm sorry. I try not to be negative. I can't help it on this one. This, uh, this scares the hell out of me. Good luck out there. Have fun this weekend. The game plans are up at our website, yoursaltwaterguide.com. There's a lot of cool stuff going on in Southern California right now. A lot of really cool fish to fish for. Stuff's happening. Be careful out there. Turn off the news, go outside, have fun, get a suntan. Don't be afraid. And uh, we'll be back with you Monday. I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of calls from a bunch of pissed off people saying, you shouldn't say, talk like that, Dave. Well, I don't know. Someone has to tell you. Someone has to tell you the truth. Somebody has to tell you the truth. I know it's not the truth you want to hear, and that's why they don't let me go to those meetings, but. It is the truth.
All right. Share. Share this. Let your friends and family know what's going on. It's real. It's, it sucks. I don't know what, what the end game is, but it sucks. Bye.